I'm going to introduce you with, with uh, uh, um, a field-friendly spatial analysis tool that we, we recently uh, uh, tried to, to develop in uh, MSF. So um, IT, as you know, is, is, is a poor country, having uh, experienced earthquake lately. Uh, there is no sanitation system working uh, someplace, and so you, you can see on the pictures uh, people uh, publicly defecating on the beach. Uh, this is a, a map of IT with uh, uh, the, the capital, Port-au-Prince. And um, the, the outbreak started in uh, Mirabelle on uh, October 2010, and it moved downstream, downstream on, on, of, of the river uh, Artibonite up to the Artibonite Delta. Yeah. And uh, spread across IT, resulted in a total of uh, nearly 300,000 cases and almost uh, 5,000 deaths. Uh, with a case fatality rate of 1.7%. MSF was uh, already operational in IT, uh, so they were able to, to respond quickly, immediately, but the hospital and clinic quickly reached uh, full capacity. So we had to construct 73 cholera treatment centers. That was approximately 25% of the total cholera treatment centers in IT. With these uh, facilities, MSF had treated almost 50% 50, 50 of, of the total uh, cholera cases with a, a low case fatality rate of less than 1%. Here you can see that uh, the MSF epi curve follows follow the same pattern as the overall epi curve with uh, um, initiation on, on, the, on, the 14th, on the week 41, epi week 41, uh, and peak around the week 50, and telling off by, by the week 14, 2011. Um, and a low case fatality rate uh, throughout. Here, the, the, I'm, I'm going to, to show you a quick movie of the evolution that started, uh, the, uh, I should say, th this is the, the EP week. The, the outbreak started in the Artibonite Delta and it spread north, northwest, and in ID. And that was uh, it spread mainly uh, case due to cases fleeing to their home communities when the, the, the uh, cholera outbreak started in Artibonite Delta. Uh, and it remained really high in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Port-au-Prince, um, mainly due to, to the high population density. Uh, it's, uh, it's more than a third or uh, half of the population living in this place. It uh, then uh, gradually uh, went uh, spread in the other area up in the, in the, from December. Th those maps only represent the data from MSF. This is not the, the all, uh, all cases in IT. Our <coughs> outbreak uh, investigation need, need to understand a person, time, and places. Um, MSF routinely used the da data tool for surveillance and uh, monitoring. They create appropriate charts and analysis to support the medical team. However, the lack of special analysis or special analysis components uh, limit the understanding of, of, of the spread in real time. The, all the previous map I showed what was done uh, after the epidemic is why GIS ca can, a uh, geographical information system uh, can, can be uh, quick uh, can be quite complex. So the, the IT field uh, decided to, to, to use Google Earth because it's easy and also because it's free. They, they set up a collaboration with uh, Google.org. It's the, the non-profit arm of uh, uh, Google to help convert line list into um, into maps. And it, Google for that developed a software called Jiffy Map. In addition, pa patients tend to, to give their, uh, 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 to give the name of a quartier as their address. So to, to, to deduce the, 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 the limit, the boundaries of the, this different quartier, we, we then, uh, uh, the, the field, the field team actually ask uh, local staff uh, about the, um, the different location, use volunteer with a, a GPS and motorbike, 
and use also uh, crowdsourcing, uh, which is the, um, the online community mapping uh, to help uh, NGO in an uh, emergency situation. Uh, all the first job have, have, been, have been made by field teams, uh, national staff, they all carried out the job in Haiti. The team there were those able to, to, to map the, the cholera cases in Google Earth and create a, a time series movie. That one is, is a, is a screen, screen capture of a, a Carrefour in mid-December. Uh, there was a, a, an outage, a water outage in uh, sorry, Rivière Froide and uh, here, Bertin. And this resulted in, in a large increase in case uh, a week later. At a week later, evolution of uh, numbers. The, the, the team could, could use this uh, imagery to advocate the, the water network company to increase cl chlorination of the, of the water supply, increase pumping hours, and provide fuel reserves to, to maintain the, the water pump. And then, upon a, a second outbreak, uh, which mainly located in, in Port-au-Prince, Carrefour, and Delmas, um, in May 2011. It was linked with, with the rainy season. Uh, this was an, an opportunity to explore GIS mapping in real time to follow the, the cholera outbreak. It's, it's, uh, it's a screen capture of, uh, uh, from Google Earth, uh, from the, the play uh, Caché called Berta, and you can see that it, it's mainly a, a slum area uh, on, on a hill. You have the, the shape of the hill here. We then investigated, oh, sorry, we investigated elevation further and uh, produced a, a contour map of, of Carrefour. And Bertin is actually that little place here. And uh, then we could, um, in, in, in addition, we, we converted the, the, the road network and the urban area into Cartier. So that the, the, the deeper green is the different Cartier we, we delimited. And then we could uh, demonstrate that, that cholera outbreak follow, um, um, uh, follow elevation north toward the coast and uh, the east and the west from there. So the, it started here and it goes down. To the west. In, um, in, 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 in addition, we could investigate the, the, the role of, of water chlorination in the outbreak. Here, the um, higher case load appeared, appeared to, be, yeah, to be located to, uh, in, in areas with, with a poor water chlorination. The, the darker the triangle is, uh, uh, less chlorine there is. However, uh, there is many, many more water points and sources, including unofficial and private suppliers, for which we, we have no data. Uh, so we, we cannot draw a uh, conclusion. We could also explore uh, potential hotspots of uh, Troche Mission, including markets, uh, bus stops, slums, IDP camp. Here, it's, it's an example from Still Google Earth, uh, it's, it's an, an obvious market, oh, sorry, here. And um, slum were identified, identified from uh, IRL imagery through uh, chaotic structures and IDP camp through tents. Yeah, it's an example of an IDP camp. We, we could see that IDP camp were relatively uh, cholera free. Uh, this was due to comp comprehensive water and sanitation support by NGO mapping managing the camp. So, uh, slum, however, had uh, high cholera case load. So the, the IDP camp are uh, and the, 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 red, the red spot and the slum are all the gray 
one. So it's much more. So as, as a conclusion, uh, G GIS, uh, GIS system uh, can support uh, MSF field operations through improved um, medical responses, targeting intervention, epidemiological analysis, activity planning, and advocacy. And I would like to, to finish by uh, thanks all the people in uh, uh, MSF team in IT who have uh, really provided us with a, a lot of data, and uh, especially Jeff, Chris, and Ivan. Thank you. <laughs>